Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm going to be playing with the newly released, it's the Viseart Petite Fours, the holiday collection. They put out four different palettes and I picked up all four. I've already done a video on two of them and that was the green one and the blue one. The blue one was called Lapis and the green one was called Peridot. So I'll put a link up above here. So if you haven't seen that, you can take a look and see what you think of these two gorgeous palettes. So today we're gonna to be playing with the other two from the collection and playing with Garnet and the other one is called Bullion. So first of all, I'm gonna play with Garnet. Now all of these palettes were inspired by the American and French 1920s and are supposed to represent everything luxurious about that era. And for those of you that didn't see the other video, each of these palettes has six grams of product and they are made in the USA. And they all have different coloring packages, but they do have this really beautiful gold on them as well. And as I said, this one is garnet. And they have this little satin pull tab, so you open up the palette. These don't have mirrors. There is a plastic covering on top, so I'll just remove that. And here is the color story of garnet. And I'll do some swatches on my arm so you can take a look at them. So the first shade is called Vedite and it is a copper with a metallic finish. The next one is Cabaret and it's a golden bronze with a metallic finish. And the next one is a Matte and it's described as a pale vanilla peach. And the last one is called Cordial and it's a rich burgundy with a metallic finish. And it's more like a cranberry shade but they all swatch really really beautifully. And all the other palettes that I tried, well the two other palettes that I tried blended really beautifully too and they swatched really beautifully as well. And all of these palettes does have one matte shade and the three metallic shades. So I'm going to take the Sonia G Jumbo Blender brush and I'm going to go into that matte shade and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Then I'm going to take the Raffin number 15 brush and I'm going to go into the metallic shade Cabaret. And then using the Raffin number 3 brush I'm going to go into the same shade and put that on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G, this is the soft shader brush, and go into the shade Vidette, and I'm going to put that on my outer corner. And then using the same shade and the Raffin number three brush again, I'm just going to put a little bit of that same shade on my lower lash line as well. And then finally I want to use that really gorgeous cranberry colour. That is the colour Cordial. So this is the Sonia G. It is the Builder 3 brush. And I'm going to put that on in a corner. Then I'm just going to take the Chukohoto, this is the blend brush, and just do a little bit of blending just to soften out the lines. And now I'm going to line my eyes. This is a Sicily eyeliner and it is in the colour Sparkling Brown. So I've now put some mascara on and this is the final look with the palette Garnet. I won't put any blusher and lipstick on until I've finished the other palette, that's the bullion one. I think that this is really pretty. This reminds me of Christmas decorations, these eyeshadows, 
with the deep red and the gold and the bronze. Very Christmassy and very holiday makeup. I think it looks really, really pretty. So now I'm going to wash this eyeshadow off and then I'll be back and we'll play with the bullion palette. So now we'll get into the last of these beautiful palettes. This one is bullion. And I'll just take it out of the packaging here so you can take a look. This has a uh, black and gold and exactly the same type of packaging. I'm just going to take off the plastic cover inside. And here is the colour story. So once again, I will swatch these on my arm. So this shade is called Follies. It's a light gold with a metallic finish. Then we have 1919, a medium gold with a metallic finish. This shade is Brazen, an antique gold with a metallic finish. And then finally we have Gilded. It's a natural black with a matte finish. So first I'm going to take the Raffa number 15 brush and I'm going to go into the shade Follies. And I'm going to put this through my crease and up above. And then next I'm going to go into the matte black shade. And I'm going to take the Raffa number 14 brush. It'll be interesting to see how this black blends. I'm also going to put this shade in my outside corner as well and then using that same matte black shade I'm going to take the Sony G this is the worker 3 and I'm going to put this on the outside corner and up above here again just to add a bit more depth And still using that same matte black shade, I'm just going to take the Raffa number 3 and put some of that shade on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the soft definer brush and just go over the shade on my lower lash line just to soften it out a bit. Then I want to use that antique gold colour, that's the one called Brazen. So I'm going to use the Chukohodo, this is the F06 brush. And I'm going to put this over the rest of my eyelid. I'm going to use the flat definer brush and go into the shade 1919. And just put some of that shade up through here. And then finally I want to go back into that very first shade that I used. That was the shade Follies. And I've just wiped down my Raffa number 3 brush. And I want to put that on the very inner corner here. And then instead of using an eyeliner for my upper lash line, I'm going to use the Chukahodo. This is the F08 brush. And I'm going to use that matte black shade. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'll be back and put on blush and lipstick. So now we'll get into some blush. I've pulled out the K.O. Weiss. This is the Cheek Collective and it is in the three shades called Sun Torched. And I'm only going to do quite a soft look with the blush given that my eyeshadow is fairly bold. And I'm going to go fairly soft with the lipstick as well. I've used these blushes in other videos and I just really, really love them. And I said I'd go soft and look how much pigment is there. But you do put this on in layers and I can always tone it down with my Beauty Blender. So I'm going to go over the top with this shade here and just see if that tones it down a bit. And then finally, I'm going to use a Tom Ford lipstick. This is in the colour Nudist. And here is the final look for the palette Bullion. 
I think that this is really really beautiful I've really made it very smoky but I love these colors anyway I love blacks and golds and the bronze I think they look really really beautiful I think the black matte performed really really well and I'm not surprised all the other Viseart palettes that I own all the shades are gorgeous and blend really beautifully and these petite four palettes are no exception they are just really really beautiful but out of the two palettes I don't really have a favorite I love this cranberry color in here with the gold I thought they were really beautiful Christmas colors I think this is a gorgeous evening type palette there's nothing stopping someone wearing it during the day but for me this would be more of a look of going out to dinner or going out to a Christmas party or a New Year's party and in the last video I did out of the blue and the green palette I think I preferred the green palette more and with these two I like them equally the same I think they are both really beautiful and I don't like one more than the other they are both completely different and just as gorgeous as each other so as I mentioned earlier I have done a video on the other two Viseart palettes that was the green and the blue one and I will put a link to that video I put a link to it at the start of this video but I'll also put a link in the description box as well so you can take a look if you want to see what those palettes look like but now that I've done all four Viseart palettes they're all really beautiful it just depends which color story you'd like I love the Viseart formula they blend really well on my mature eyelids oh, I have loose skin now it does make blending sometimes a bit more difficult to do and I never have any issues with the Viseart formula and I find their stain power really good as well yesterday the last palette that I put on when I videoed the other two palettes I had the green eyeshadow on because that's the one I filmed second and I had that on for at least eight hours and it looked just as good as when I had first applied it they are just really beautiful eyeshadows and that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye